Welcome back to Experimental. This would be day 36, and it is the end of my fifth week with Experiment. So I'm going to break up what I talk about into two categories, the good and the bad. The good news is, I got some practice time in this week, a fair amount actually. So I spent time practicing the songs I've been attempting to learn. I've also created and implemented another theremin MIDI training program. It's a bit more complex than my first one. It covers a wider range of notes and a greater variety of jumps between notes. Um, I've also started playing along with my Winamp. I just set it to play, and I play along with my theremin just because it gives me something to do. I get to hear the music as I go along. I can use the pitch from what I'm hearing to help correct my playing, and it just gets me used to playing notes I'm not used to and jumps I'm not used to. I also got Peter Pringle's How to Play the Theremin DVD in the mail. Thankfully, on a day I was actually homesick from university, so that worked out well because I got to watch that right away. It had a lot of good information on it. I've been watching over a few times the section on aerial fingering and his talk on posture and stance. I've been working on incorporating some of what he talks about um, for the last while now. He does some things that I'm not comfortable doing. I don't know if it's yet or in general they don't work with me. He stands far more to the right when playing than I do, and he tends to get a lot closer to the pitch and tenor when he's playing higher notes. And I don't like this, as he calls it, the intimacy with the pitch antenna. I'm not comfortable playing this close yet, and I don't like this angle of playing. I am playing now from a more central position than I used to, rather than from the far left. Um, I find I have a bit more stability at this angle than at this angle. And I've watched his fingering thing a bit, so I've been working on modifying the aerial fingering that I use a little bit. And then this leads perfectly into the bad, because I'm changing my position and some of my aerial fingering technique, some of my playing has dropped. Oh to Joy doesn't sound quite as good as it did last week, because I got used to playing it this way, and now I'm playing it this way. I'm picking it up quickly though, and with the uh, Winamp play-along that I mentioned I was doing, I found I have a lot better accuracy starting off from this position than from my original one. Other bad news is I've tried and there really isn't anything I can do to improve the sound quality of my video. Two things are at fault. The microphone and the speakers. And as if to prove my point, my speakers are now actually dying on me so they tend to cut out on higher notes and on louder notes. Um, they were somewhat cheap speakers, and I guess they just couldn't handle the theremin. And the microphone that I have isn't, again, anything that great. It's fine for teleconferencing, but anything with much tonality, the theremin, singing, music in general, it just can't seem to record that well. So it looks like I'm going to have to invest in a new recording device for my audio, and a new set of speakers or amps for my theremin. I'm not sure when I'll get them, and depending on how quickly my speakers degrade, I may not even be able to play or practice within a while if they get a lot worse than they are now. They're still usable, as long as I'm not playing too loud or too high. Another, I wouldn't necessarily call it bad news, but more a uh, internal state with the theremin is it's a month later and I knew what I was getting into, but I am finding this instrument <laughs> a touch frustrating. I have trouble believing almost that a month later I still can't play Ode to Joy reliably. I know it's a very difficult instrument to learn and watching the recap I made last week I can see a lot of improvement that I am glad about, but part of me does feel a touch frustrated that after so long I'm still where I am with the theremin, but granted I've also 
not as much practice time with it as I would have liked. What I find funny is when I do my Winamp play-alongs, sometimes I can play a song that sounds almost perfect to me. Then the next time that song comes along and I try to play it, I can be half an, act, half an octave off for the entire song. I am in no way giving up on the theremin. I am just voicing a bit of frustration and confirming what I thought when I first started, that this is a very difficult instrument to learn. So with that, I am going to now play Ode to Joy from the new position and with a slightly modified aerial fingering that I used to use. So, really, not that bad, and I'm definitely getting there. So, thank you for watching my video. I hope you subscribe and watch the rest of them and what's yet to come. Thanks for joining me.